This is mind blowing. Scientists from MIT and other institutions have said that they have found direct evidence of proto-Earth. This is back when Earth was less than 100 million years old. That is surreal. That is before the time Theia, the Mars-sized body that slammed into Earth, created all the primordial mixing, which then eventually led to a disk, which then led to our moon. It's mind blowing. Here's the study for any people that might be interested. I'm going to break this down into a full length video. So make sure you like, subscribe and follow to hear about it. But here's the down low. Basically, scientists were looking at different rocks across the world from different tectonic settings. These included ocean island basalts, so things like Hawaii, your mid-ocean ridge basalts, well, that's at the bottom of the sea floor, your island arcs, so things like Indonesia, and they found something rather interesting. Oh, I can't forget the mafic crust. These are the cratons or shields, the oldest parts of our crust, which exist in places like Australia and Canada and Africa. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, what they found when analyzing these rocks in the mass spectrometers was some of them had potassium-40 deficits, some that couldn't be explained. There is nothing in the Earth present day that has this deficit of potassium-40. The same was said for the ocean island basalts, and it also doesn't link up with any known meteorite groups and their compositions. This is why scientists are saying this may be the first direct evidence of proto-Earth, the Earth before Theia hit it within the 100 million years of its birth. Because the potassium deficit doesn't link to any known Earth, Moon or meteorite samples that we've ever tested. Which can only mean one thing, it was there before the massive Theia planet body slammed into Earth, before its composition mixed with our proto-Earth composition, and these are the little bits that remained.